Good morning. This is Chris Arrell, Nautilus Architects, and this is Architecture Talks. This morning we're going on a little site visit to one of our projects, which happens to be in Lyme, Connecticut. It's on Hamburg Cove, which is a popular boating destination and, and a, just a scenic, uh, wonderful scenic location. This is a house that was built in the 60s, and this is not our work. This is this comes before our work. It's a nondescript house in a beautiful location. And you wouldn't know that from, the, from looking at it from this side, what lies beyond. So uh, one of the parts of the design that we'll eventually realize is to make this into a very glassy gateway to the, to the beautiful view and setting beyond. We're going to walk behind the house now to look at the first phase of this project, which is a pool and pool house. Um, we figured we'd start at the water and sort of work our way back up the hill with the project. That just seemed to make sense logistically for construction. Walk this way with me, please. See, there's quite a surprise when you get around the back side here. Um, this was actually so filled with trees and bushes that you couldn't even see the water, even in winter time, when the property was purchased about a uh, year, year or so back. Um, but we did a lot of clearing, left selective trees to, to frame the view nicely, didn't take everything out. Um, you'll see, for instance, there's a beautiful uh, what I think is a hemlock tree growing on the left-hand side that's, that's framing the left side of that vista. And so I want to walk up to the existing deck. We're going to come back to this project several times. Uh, it's not completed, and there's a lot going on here, and it's, it's a favorite project of ours, so there's a lot to talk about. Um, but today I wanted to focus on sort of um, another example of what I was talking about the other day in Architecture Talks 101, where I was talking about this, the site and designing something in response to that. It's a very powerful linking of the building and the site um, that only custom design can, can give you. So this is an infinity edge pool, which means it has sort of a waterfall uh, going over the end. And when you're down at the pool level, the water of the pool uh, seems to flow directly into the water of the cove beyond. It's a really dramatic effect. Um, but the other thing about the siting of this environment out here that we've created is that it's, um, you know, I'm on the current deck, which will be more or less what the new deck uh, location will be and we didn't position the pool right on axis with that because if you look out from here you'll see that you're looking into the other side I mean it's a nice view but the the best view is the one that goes out the mouth of Hamburg Cove and all the way out into the Connecticut River and you can see Essex Village on the other side it's the Petapog Yacht Club over there um, so we located the pool so that it was a diagonal, um, a diagonal view. So when you're in the main living space of the house, you see out across the, uh, the pool, cove, and river. And this is the, the pool house over here, which is um, designed in a way to be kind of an edge building. It's, it's very long and it's very uh, shallow in depth so that all the space is really right along the pool and it also helps to frame that left side, just like I was saying about the hemlock tree, that this, this building is kind of almost like a, a wall or a fence that's, that's capturing and st stopping your eye on this edge and defining the space and um, leading your eye out to the, to the water. And uh, in a lesser way, we created this sunshade canopy over here with these tensile um, fabrics uh, pieces that also gives some kind of um, architectonic 
um, feel to this side. It's, it doesn't have a building per se, but it's it's got something three dimensional coming up here to balance the pool house on the left. And now we're going to walk down to the pool area. We use granite for the paving because it's lighter, it doesn't absorb as much heat, so it's a better material choice for underfoot on a hot summer day. Um, I, I wanted to um, just point out one other thing that you can see that if this had to have a, a guardrail along it, it would really kind of blow the whole effect, even if it was a glass guardrail. So by creating this planting tier down here, which we just planted 800 uh, little bamboo seedlings here that are going to grow up and they're going to they're going to fill up this whole tier and then we're going to shear them like almost like mowing like a large um thick lawn of bamboo that'll probably be about a foot and a half tall um so very geometric and abstract but the thing about this tier is that not only does it have the catch basin for the um the infinity edge which is spilt the water spilling over there but it also um obviates the need for having a guardrail because if you have another another surface that's 30 inches or less down from the one that you're standing on you don't need to have a guardrail so that um, was a critical piece of the design for the site and also um, uh, helps to mitigate the size of the wall as viewed from the from the cove side and I think that's about enough for today uh, it's a really wonderful project. Contractors are arriving now. Um, they're putting some Ipe pieces along the roof. That's going to be a really great effect. And we'll look back again in a few weeks and see how that came out. Thank you. This is Chris Arrell, Nautilus Architects.